All right, welcome back, Odoers. Now, Jose Ignacio here, as always. Now, after we set up our marketing automation campaign, it's time to automate some activities. Now, setting up automated activities frees up a ton of time that would have otherwise been spent on manual, repetitive tasks. Now, that allows us to spend more time on things that actually matter, like growing our business, because Stealthy Wood always wants to get bigger. Now, with Odoo marketing automation, we can trigger different actions to automatically happen when a specific type of engagement or lack of engagement occurs. Now, this is important because with properly configured automation, we can ensure that we always reach out to the right customers at the right time without bombarding them with unwanted messages to the point of being annoyed. Looking at you, spam. Now, not only that, but we can also automate actions that happen within our server, aka our Odoo database. So, Enough chit chat, as I will always say. Let's jump into our StealthyWood database and see how easy it is to automate marketing activities in just a few clicks with Odoo. All right, Odooer, so here we are. And now it's time to automate some activities for our Nurture Leads and Opportunities campaign. Now, for those who may be unaware, marketing campaigns are used to centralize and report on marketing efforts revolving around the same topic. Now, the very first thing we're going to want to do is we want to add a new activity. And we got to give this a name. And in our case, we're going to name this email blog for people. <laughs> All right. Well, we named it that because that's precisely what this activity will do when triggered. So our activity type here will also be an email for that reason, because we wanted to email our company blog to all of the records that fit the criteria for our campaign feature. Now, we could have also selected SMS here if we wanted to send text messages instead of emails. However, we need their phone numbers in our database for that feature to work properly. And, and this is an important part, we'd also need enough credits from Odoo to send an SMS. So for now, let's stick with email. Now, as you also notice, we have a few other options. Once we select this, we have a mail template that we can use. There's a few that we can choose from to select a pre-configured email template or to create a new one on the fly which we'll do in just a moment. Now, in our case, I'm gonna select our email blog template because it's already modified exactly how we want. Now, this saves us a lot of time during our campaign building process, which is always a plus. So if you want this activity to trigger as well at a specific time after the start of your workflow, you can even indicate that over here on the right side. But for the sake of this demo, we're actually gonna change this to zero. So it happens right away. Now, if like say for instance, we have a time sensitive campaign or an upcoming event and I can actually select this expiry duration box right here by checking it to ensure that this activity will stop being triggered after a certain date. Now, when you select it, you'll see it pops up asking you what date, but in this case, I'm actually going to leave that unselected. Now we can also add more specific filters in the domain section here and that targets, you know, more niche audience but I want this campaign to reach all of my new opportunities. So I'm actually gonna leave that alone fully and we're done, saved and closed. All right, our first activity is complete with easy to read analytics that we can see and all this data that will automatically populate once people start interacting with our campaign. Speaking of, let's talk about configuring sub activities to follow this one. These are referred to as child activities and they will only be triggered depending on the participant's reaction to our previous campaign activity. Now, let's create one. So actually, you'll notice when you hover over child activity, there's a lot of options. Now these are specified and very specific to the activities that will be triggered once that somebody interacts with the previous campaign activity in one way or another. This means you can technically automate an action to happen if they open, don't open, reply, don't reply, click, don't click, or it bounces. Now, you can also simply choose, and I skipped it for a reason, to add another activity here on the far left, which is what we're going to be choosing to speed this workflow along. Now, so while we could make a child activity to let's say occur every time this initial email is opened or clicked, we're going to save ourselves some time and select add another activity for that reason. Now, we need a name for this. In this case, email promotion code just because that's what this is going to be for. So in our case, this one is also going to be an email for the activity type. 
And actually, I think, you know what, let's do it. Let's create a new mail template right now. So in here, email discount code. Now you'll notice when you do that and it doesn't exist, it gives you the option to create an edit. And in our case, we're going to do that. I'm going to select this VIP one. We don't do free shipping. You know what? We'll do free shipping. Exclusive deals for Stealthy Wood. Give it a personal touch. $100 is too much. $1 off. VIP members are cool. All right. This looks good. Everything looks fine except that. It's one, not ten. Perfect. Now we can save and close and we have our new template. Now at this point in the process, we could have this child activity sent as you can see over here, one hour, but we can also select one day, week, months, and you can actually type up here. But in our case, you know, so that we can stay in communication with our opportunities without knowing them with too many messages at once, we're also going to select an option that won't annoy them. But for the sake of how this flow works, we're actually going to select zero hours again here. Oops. Little dupsy accidentally clicked back in there and now it looks like we have to do this again. But as you'll notice, I can actually do this very quickly. Now we're back over here. And there it is. And wasn't that dandy. Very quickly we reached us all the way back over here. Now, just so that you can see how everything is working, we're can continue using zero hours after. And as you'll notice, when we selected it to be this mail template, we can actually select it to happen after another activity. And in our case, we want this to trigger after a mail has been open. And our mail being the blog. Now again, once that we finish this, save and close, you'll see all of the data connected to this activity right here. And you can tell it's a child activity because it's indented. And that's one of the easiest ways to see it. Now, Odoo makes it super easy to differentiate which is which, but activities don't always have to be forms of communication as you've seen with both of these. They can be internal automations that happen in the back end of your business. These are known as server actions. Now you're asking yourselves, Jose, what are server actions? Well, Odooers, server actions are things that you can automate in the back end. And for instance, let's say that we want to create an activity that automatically moves an opportunity to the qualified stage. Well, we can actually do that with our pipeline. Now that's exactly what we'll do now. And we'll showcase how it works with that modular desk opportunity we saw in the previous video. And ha, I told you we'd use it. So we're gonna create another child activity. And this one is going to be off of our promo, the email promo, as you can see by the indent. Now, in our case, what do we want this one to be? Well, we want to label this move to qualified pipeline stage. It's a server action. And we're also going to need a trigger in zero hours after beginning of a workflow. Nice. Now, just like our email template, I didn't skip over it. Now, the fields, as you see, that we modified before, we can actually select a pre-configured server action, or we can create a new one directly from this form on the fly. And that's what we're going to do. Move to qualified pipeline. And as you'll see, it gives us the option to create an edit. And that's exactly what we'll do. Now, you see it pre-populated with my misspelling as well. All right, now for this, the very first thing you want to select is a model. And in our case, this is going to be lead an opportunity or action to do. We want it to update a record because that's what we're doing. Now, the other thing that we can do is that we need to specify an activity filter down here in the data to write tab. Now we'll want to configure this domain equation to represent a lead moving to the qualified stage in our CRM app. So we're going to hit add a line and we need something for this now. The very first thing that we want to select is stage CRM lead, and it's going to be a reference here. And then let's put that updates. Should let us edit this. Sorry about that. Oh, wait, actually, sorry about that. Oh, doers, our field here should be stage. And then we have that. And now it should let us. There we go. Small little dupsy wasn't allowing us to select this. Our record should be qualified. And then once that this is done, 
can actually choose what we have here and we can actually save and close and we're done. And there you have it. Now we can save and close again. And we have another one. Now, as you can see, setting up and automating activities for your marketing campaigns is easier than ever with the Odoo marketing automation application. Now that we've got all our activities set up for this campaign, it's time to test everything out before officially running it. So stay tuned, Odooers. That's all for now, but I'll see you in the next lesson.